Hi everyone. My name is Kiran and today we are going to discuss very interesting one of the point and uh, how we provide the solution for this one. So look into that. What is that one and how is a provide the solution? We'll look into that. Uh, this is a topic is a uh, related to Azure Bastion guys. So we know Azure Bastion means generally uh, like Azure Virtual Mission over the internet securely accessing purpose will use the Azure Bastion in Azure platform. So, so generally we know uh, go to the particular virtual mission and uh, connect and Bastion and uh, from the Bastion we can provide the our uh, user ID and password. So once is a provide the user ID and password and securely it will connect to the over the internet and we can able to access that particular server. But problem is here, I want to copy paste something from Azure VM to my desktop. My desktop, let's see the right click on that. Copy and try to paste it in my desktop. Show and paste is not working. So because of by default Bastion have that limitation. Bastion how that limitation due to that we can't copy paste and from the Azure VM to our local desktop our local desktop now coming to my scenario uh, my uh, customer asking me to and uh, from Azure VM to and access the uh, like get the data from their local desktop okay from Azure VM to and from the uh, Azure VM to local desktop they need to copy the data and this is a requirement and Azure Bastion using that how it's a possible yes it's a possible guys and we can uh, achieve it and uh, using the Azure Bastion so let's see how to achieve it this using the Azure Bastion so let's go to the Azure portal click on home click on Bastion and we know this Bastion. So click on Bastion. And here, uh, if you want to use it, the Bastion service should be run with the standard tier. The Bastion should be run standard tier. Go to the configuration. And after the configuration, uh, one of the native client support, we must and should be enabled. By default, only copy and paste, it works and it's from our local desktop to Azure VM. If it is enabled, it will work. But from Azure VM to our local desktop, it won't work, guys. So now there are different options, Cabros authentication and native client support, IP-based connection and shared uh, shareable link. So what are the things? This is the one. Uh, first of all, I will give the uh, how we achieve the this one and uh, from Azure VM to local desktop, how to transfer the data. So first of all, I will show you that one. After that, I will explain a little bit about these points also. Okay, first, already, I already enabled the native client support, this option, and apply it. It will take some time, guys. And after that, come to this uh, VM, uh, no need to connect like this. No need to connect like this. So in this scenario, need to client support using that how to connect the vm it's not required the azure portal guys and entirely very differently connect to the native client support from your local desktop from your local desktop for this what are the prerequisite azure cli we must and should install azure cli on particular local desktop on that particular local desktop guys so let's see is a let me close it. Let me open the command prompt, run as a administrator and click on S. And now already install the CLI. And if you want to see it, Azure CLI, click on AG version and it will show you the Azure CLI 2.33.0. And one more thing, guys, if it is a Linux virtual mission and should be this uh, extension should be installed. Extension should be installed. How to install Azure CLI in uh, one more point is the SSH, how to install it. So here, this is a command guys, AG extension add uh, iPhone, iPhone name SSH. We need to run the command. 
it will install the that extension also okay and after that once install the azure command line that uh, one as well as ssh install it now onwards we can able to connect the virtual machine from your local desktop to azure virtual machine very different manner let me show you go to the my notepad i can show you first of all we need to use this command ag login and that user that end user should have login access also that means azure portal login access at least azure bastion read only as well as azure that particular virtual mission read only access is required must and should read only access from the azure virtual mission from the bastion also minimum that requirement same like here also minimum that requirement is a required so first i am trying to connect the uh, through cli azure login once is a connected with my credentials it's a connected guys after that i can able to see different different subscription now different different subscription that particular virtual mission in which subscription we need to set so for that i should use it this is a command guys ag account set iphone iphone subscription by subscription id i used it here copy and paste it enter good and after that i need to run this command if it is a windows mission yes ag network bastion rdb iphone iphone name azure bastion name like in azure portal what is your bastion name that bastion name we should provide it like this and resource group name so where that available that resource group name and target resource id exactly your virtual mission resource id where how to get it this resource id go to particular virtual mission and you can see guys home virtual mission and vm and go to the properties and scroll down and from this place we can get the resource id this resource id should have that customer or it's a end user okay and once everything is a uh, prepare like this just copy this command go to command line and enter this command paste it and enter so it will give the mstsc remote desktop connection through that it will try to connect it already you know uh, it's uh, taken my user id uh, like previously i tried to connect it and it's working and uh, you know i am trying to with my local admin credentials i'm trying to log in here i can show you here and s now it's a connecting that particular virtual mission using native client guys native client suppose i want to copy this particular test file in my azure vm guys right click copy and it's a uh, one minute minimize it okay and go to the desktop let me show you and uh, more options and paste it now you can see guys it's a pasted that particular file is a pasted so that means from azure vm to your local desktop also we can able to copy and paste it copy and paste it that means data is uploaded it is possible as well as download also is a possible guys normally azure bastion only you can upload it but that is also standard under that copy paste is enabled that is a wax otherwise copy paste also it won't work for azure vm from local desktop to azure vm it won't work if it is enabled it will work at least is a from your local desktop to azure platform that copy paste it works but azure vm to local desktop we must and should connect to the via native client so that only it's a possible otherwise it's not possible guys otherwise it's not possible so we must and should connect to the via native client so for that what are the things i made it already i shown you you can follow accordingly you can be able to connect it but one point guys everyone needs to understand so real time real time generally that server should be domain join in this scenario my customer is a trying to log in uh, this method 
trying to connect this method and especially they are providing their admin credentials that means is a domain credentials they are trying to connect it but when they are trying to connect it, their domain credentials they are getting the issue what is the exactly issue a uh, why is a uh, they are getting the problem means if you go to the configuration and there is a capros authentication preview is available we should enable and apply it <coughs> and one more thing and when they are trying to give the you uh, connect via like this and especially they need made a uh, like some local policy on that local mission they need to made the changes these are the changes local group policy editor under that it should not be uh, route the traffic to ndlm restrict the traffic to ndlm so that it will work so that it will work to connect to the via cabros via cabros it will work so ndlm authentication when cabros is a disable this setting ensure the ndlm based authentication is unsuccessful further sign in attempts to the vm and the vm session and now onwards you can try to connect the vm target vm using the bastion sign in should be successful and indicating the bastion cap rows and not for ndlm authentication so that you can try guys uh, this is also domain admin uh, sorry domain credentials using that also they can able to connect it via like this and it's a uh, we can achievable from azure vm to local desktop we can data transfer also it's a possible and you can see these are the microsoft given the some of the like you know links here and i can show you here so what they are mentioned also clearly connect the vm using uh, native client how to do it and uh, what are the you know settings we need to perform it and uh, and as well as roles for that uh, connecting that end user as well as ports is uh, should be allow it and what are the commands we need to use it and how to do it everything is a uh, they clearly given in the documentation guys this document is uh, followed and we can able to connected this virtual mission using the native client as well as capros authentication and data transfer also possible guys this is a one i want to explain today and thank you everyone and before that if you like the video and you can subscribe and comments below and like it and share with your friends thank you everyone have a nice day we'll meet next one more topic with that thank you